It is there, all around us. It covers our planet, but we rarely see it. We breathe it in, we breathe it out, and it circulates in our lungs without us realizing it. Even though it is invisible, the air is still composed of chemical components, which react and transform our world for better or for worse. Of course, in order for us to keep breathing good quality air, it is vital to study and understand the way in which we, humans, alter its composition. Scientists want to understand the way air's components react to human-induced changes and how such changes can lead to the formation of secondary pollutants. These are sometimes even more toxic than those which generated them. To this end, some researchers study such transformations in so-called atmospheric simulation chambers. These are the focus of Eurochamp 2020, a Horizon 2020 program funded by the European Commission. In order for scientists to correctly reproduce the reaction of two or more pollutants in a controlled way, the atmospheric conditions need to be controlled. This is obviously not possible in ambient conditions as the air constantly transforms. This is why scientists have created atmospheric simulation chambers. Such chambers are large chemical reactors. They come in different sizes and are overall very rare. They can reproduce the real atmosphere so we can understand the transformations happening inside. The main objective of Eurochamp 2020 is to create a European network of different chambers. Today, the project brings together a consortium of 18 simulation chambers in 10 countries. Through this network, users from the international scientific community and from the private sector can receive funding to access these simulation chambers and carry out their research. As a secondary objective, Eurochamp 2020 also works on harmonizing all the chambers. This process allows scientists to guarantee reliable results from experiments and to use the same instruments from one infrastructure to the other. Finally, the project aims to increase the use of simulation chambers so that they can become a more useful tool for the study of new and more complex scientific questions. For example, scientists have recently been studying the reduction of rain episodes. They realized that pollution could prevent the water and clouds from condensing by reducing their size. As a consequence, raindrops cannot become large and heavy enough to fall. And then it doesn't rain anymore. All the data coming from experiments performed in the chambers is stored and freely accessible in the Eurochamp 2020 data center. The whole scientific community can benefit from this tool and freely use the data. The overall goal of the project is to provide accessible, open science and create a more collaborative community in the field of atmospheric chemistry. The program strengthens synergies between scientists and the private sector to boost technological development. This will further our understanding of air composition and improve the environment where we live.